Dropping attachment is the beginning. Excerpt from Horizons Beyond the Mind. Dropping attachment is another way of looking at ego and it helps in dropping the ego, ego to vanish. All attachments are doorways to connect to ego and to begin the inward journey ego becomes the obstruction. Ego is the identification with all that is ephemeral. You identify with your mind, you identify with your thoughts, you identify with your feelings, you identify with your ethnicity, you identify with your nation, all these kind of things. All these are ephemeral and they are not going to help you in your inward journey. Ego is identification with all that is ephemeral. It considers dream to be true. Fear and ignorance remains its ornament. One nourishes it and the other gives it a new form and shape. Fear is the outcome of ignorance and ignorance is the ornament of ego. Without ignorance, ego ceases to exist and without ego, ignorance has no value, no use. For when light absolute descends, ego disappears in the oblivion and thus begins the inward journey. Thus, first evaporates the ego, thereafter what remains is the light of truth light of being, harmony, oneness or bliss, whatever you can call it. Because of ego, this false center, it is very difficult to be in the world. However, it is even more difficult to be non-attached when the spiritual world opens its doors. The difficulty of the second is millionfold because the worldly forces are not real. They are important and they never satisfy you. They never make you contented. In fact, every new achievement in the world creates more desires, thus strengthening ego. Rather than satisfying you, it sends your mind on a new trip. As a result, whatsoever power you attain in the world, you use it only to create new and more and more desires. Whatsoever money you can gather in the world, you invest to gain even more. This brings more money. Again you invest it for still more money. And this way the life goes on, unending, without any hope of it. Only means are behind which you run and never does the end come closer. So even a stupid person becomes aware sooner or later that he is moving in a vicious circle and there seems to be no way out of it except to drop it. For an intelligent one who thinks about his life and meditates about it, it is even more obvious. Therefore non-attachment is not so difficult when it comes to the worldly things. However, when it comes to the inner life or the psychic powers, it is almost impossible to be non-attached to them. It always happens because these are so close to your being and so infinitely satisfying. But if you are not non-attached, then you have again created a new world and you will remain far, far away from the ultimate liberation. Because whatsoever you possess, indeed possesses you. It is a vicious circle. You possess money, but money possesses you. It takes hold of you and you remain yoked to it. The sacrifice has to be total. You have to drop everything that you can possess, including your attachment to objects and beings, 
and relationships accept your true nature. Then that which cannot be sacrificed is left with you. That which can be sacrificed should be sacrificed. And with this, the life attains a new meaning. The journey of transcendence begins. Only through this, the journey of transcendence begins. <laughs>